So here we're given this uh, portion of this graph, um, a trigonometric function, and we need to identify which one of the five choices uh, could be the equation. So we'll use some uh, key values here, start with uh, x equal to zero. I'm gonna plug those in the answer choices and see which ones I can eliminate. So x is zero, a would be minus three sine zero. Uh, that's going to be zero. So a works, uh, b would be minus three sine minus pi over two. Uh, this is gonna be minus three times minus sine pi over two. Sine pi over two is one, so this is gonna be three. So that doesn't work because it needs to be zero. So b is out. c would be minus cosine of zero. Uh, cosine of zero is one again, so that's not zero. So c is out. d is three sine minus pi, which is minus three sine pi. This is gonna be zero. So d is possibility. e would be three cosine minus pi over two, uh, and that's going to be zero. So e also works. So we're between a, d, and e, we have to pick another point. Now this is the halfway point, that's pi over two. Uh, that means that point is pi over four. So when x is pi over four, we want the value of the function to be minus three. So again, I'm gonna plug into a, d, and e, starting with a, that's gonna be three sine pi over eight. Well, that's not gonna be one, because it's minus three times. So a is out. Um, d is going to be three times sine 2x would be pi over 2 minus pi. This is going to be 3 sine minus pi over 2, which is minus 3 sine pi over 2. Sine pi over 2 is 1, so that is indeed minus 3. So that one works. We have to check e as well. So that's going to be 3 times cosine pi. Uh, two, 2 times pi over 4 is pi over 2 minus pi over 2. This is three times cosine zero, which is one. So that would be three instead of minus three. So that eliminates E. So we've narrowed it down to answer choice D.